Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Secret Store CSI Community Call. Today is uh, November 2nd, 2023. Uh, this call falls under CNCF Code of Conduct. Uh, I think we have an agenda items today. Uh, please go ahead and add your names uh, to the attendee list if you haven't already. Uh, I will moderate this. Uh, Amit or Abhijit, are you guys, uh, can either one of you uh, take the notes? Sorry to put you guys on the spot. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, cool. Uh, I missed that. Is that uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, I think uh, Amit, you have the agenda items, right? Let me go ahead and share the screen first. Give me a second. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, are you able to see yes. the browser window? Yes. Cool. Let's see. Okay. Cool. Uh, Amit, do you want to uh, take it away? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, thanks, Nilek. Uh, so I think the first one that I put in uh, and Abhijit can actually speak more to that one. Uh, so this is about upgrading the Go version in the in the driver. Uh, so uh, we are given to understand there are some vulnerabilities that are being reported against uh, the current Go version and uh, probably upgrading to 1.21 might be a good thing to do. So there's a depend on what PR that has been open for a while and Abhijit was also trying to do, uh, do an upgrade. Um, Abhijit, you want to fill in with more details? Yeah, sure. So uh, first, when I tried to upgrade to uh, 1.21, I faced many issues, like some packages are deprecated, and we need to replace with the different uh, packages. And the other uh, thing is like, uh, in Docker file, we are using at some place 1.19, uh, at some place we have in go mod dot, it's 1.19, and in Docker file, it's a, 1.20. Why such a discrepancy? Means, was there any reason? So usually we do uh, upgrade it. Uh, I haven't checked last time when we uh, upgrade our Go version, but as like an ongoing maintenance, we do upgrade our Go version. Uh, and Anish mm. can correct me. Uh, I'm not sure last time when we did that. Uh, oh. But we. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just finishing up. Uh, like we can, uh, we can take a look at it and probably do it. Uh, but I'm also curious as to which packages are being uh, deprecated or not. But Anish, go ahead before that. Yeah, I was just gonna say the um, Go version and the Go mod is not the one that we build with. Right, that's basically the minimum required version for the project, and uh, so that doesn't have to get updated every time there's a new Go release. But the Docker file is using 120 because that is what we're building the project with. And uh, yes, we should bump it to 121. Like uh, the other CD fixes that were there, they have been merged. Uh, so we, the last one is probably updating the Go version, and then we can cut a release for the driver. Yeah. So the thing which I tried uh, is like I use the uh, Go version 1.21 in the Docker file. And I created that image and I scanned that image. It was still uh, giving the vulnerabilities at saying that packages at 1.20. So is it like uh, since it we have that uh, 1.19 in the Go mode file, the packages are not upgraded, and we have the vulnerabilities in that packages. That's why it is happening. So it shouldn't be with the Go version. It should be with the package version, right? So like for instance. Xnet had a vulnerability in the old old version and it was fixed in 0 0.17.0. So like all those PRs have been merged. So uh, okay, I think more is to send. 
yeah and there are some packages uh, of open telemetry uh, for which when I, when i try to run the uh, go update uh, so it was saying that uh, it is it is unable to find the packages i guess yeah so there are few issues uh, for the upgrade so uh, one of the question uh, generally how we upgrade the go version so generally what i do uh, i uh, update all these uh, file, uh, files with uh, latest go version whatever available yeah Mo, do you have something to say yeah i was just going to mention i forget if it was in 121 for go or what version of go changed this behavior uh, but the go compiler tool chain will look at the go mod version in your or the go version in your go mod file and it yeah. will automatically download the tool chain at that version and use it you have to be you have to be careful now because just just because you have a particular tool chain that you're trying to build with doesn't mean that the go will use but there's a little bit of a nuance there um uh, and also, if you try to bump Hotel, it's going to break the world because Hotel is terrible. It's going to happen. Does that mean we have to bump like Go mod also, like every time, even if the minimum required version is lesser? I mean, at the end of the day, is, is there any reason not to do it? Because my, my pattern has always been to make all the numbers exactly the same. Not because I had a particular reason to, but because it just reduced confusion about what version I was trying to use. Okay. So, like, like if there was a reason to retain compatibility with an old Go version, we can do that. I just don't like. We're not a library, right? So, like, we like like no user like end user actually cares if we use 120 versus 121 as long as they feel it's secure right yeah so okay so i think then maybe going forward we will just update both like and the docker version and simultaneously does that sound good yeah, and if you're running into issues with uh, Hotel, I can take a look. Like, I did the update last time, so I will try and take a look at it to see what needs to change. Yeah, I remember doing the Hotel updates. Yeah. So, uh, Abhijit, if you, if you happen to have a, like, a half-done PR or whatever, if you can put put it here in the meeting notes maybe all of us can can try to take a look and, and see if we can help you in any way uh, sure or, i will push that pair and maybe i will share uh, right now yeah. uh, all the changes are local only yeah feel free to uh, create maybe a draft pair uh, if it's not ready and you know yeah sure and maybe uh, i can share the error right now i'm getting or uh, in the pair itself which packages has been uh, like deprecated and no longer available. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks everyone. So I guess uh, we would just go ahead with using 1.21 everywhere, right? That's the, I mean, we'll try to get to that state. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, um, cool. Uh, any other points on on this topic, or if not, I can move to the to the next thing that I added. Oh, yeah, I'll move on. Uh, so um, a few weeks back, uh, we had this discussion about the the secret uh, sync functionality uh, that that has to be split into a different um, different component, right? And uh, I, I guess we discussed uh, uh, various things around that. So one thing that came up in one of our internal discussions was, uh, and and maybe I, I missed that part, but uh, it's probably not very clear what would be the impact of this on the auto rotation feature. 
So, uh, so today uh, the auto rotation, if I understand correctly, uh, holds every x number of minutes and x being 10, if I remember it correctly, or maybe two. And if there's a new value available in the in the in the secret store, then it will just download that and uh, mount it. Uh, so would the driver continue to support auto rotation by itself for people who don't maybe care about the same functionality? I think we can, I think we'll still continue supporting auto rotation on the driver level. So because it is, I think, one of the core functionalities. Uh, Anish? Yeah, yeah, Nilek is right. So like the auto rotation functionality will exist uh, because it's, it's a separate controller. But we have this uh, GitHub issue to move to this CSI feature called requires republish, right? Where instead of us having a custom controller, Kubelet will call us periodically to say like, hey, go check if the mount is okay. Uh, go check if there are any operations that you need to perform. So eventually we'll shift to using that so that we can like cut down on our back permissions and all of that. Uh, but yes, auto rotation will still exist, and the sync controller will also have auto rotation. Uh, okay, so I'm just capturing that as Kubelet will call the driver uh, via requires republish, so that driver can drop the root and cluster privileges. Right? Yeah, that's the future change that we're looking to. If someone wants to go implement that, you can go do that now. No one's stopping anybody. Yeah, I think. I think Anish has a PR on that if I remember it correctly on the query at least. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess, yeah, that's... So I, I just wanted to clarify that uh, the the driver's auto-rotation capabilities are not being impacted, and I'll, I'll relay this back to the to the folks who who had this question uh, on our side so i think that's a that's a good thing so unless uh, a user cares about sync uh, for them really nothing changes so um i'll relay that back yeah yeah thanks for the confirmation and uh, i mean since you brought that up about the sync controller right so like fyi there is a pr open on the driver repo uh, basically to add the new APIs for the sync controller CID. Um, so the current plan is we will merge the sync controller code in a folder in the driver, in the feature branch. And once we all are happy with it, then we'll create a new repo and then move all the sync controller code to that new repo. Uh, but whenever you get a chance, take a look. And uh, if you can review the PR, that will be great. Uh, sure. Uh, thanks, Anish. I'll I'll try to take a look. Yeah. Uh, the one that you pasted in chat, right? One three six four. Yeah. Okay. I think you also had pasted a link about the scan. So Abhijit, I'm I'm capturing this. This might be helpful when you're tracking down the vulnerabilities. Sure. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so yeah, those were the only two things that I had uh, for the meeting. Uh, if yeah, I'll, I'll Nilik, like you can continue the rest of the meeting. Uh, any in the flight topics we have anything that we want to discuss? Okay, I think we can conclude. A gentle reminder again to add your name in the attendance. Uh, but I guess we have a quick call today and then we can give remaining time back to everybody. See you guys. Thanks, Aaron. Have a good Bye. day. Thank you.